before we head into the city, it's important to decide what it is that you want to see in order to decide where you're going to go. So are you looking for inspiration for a specific project? Are you interested in interior design? Are you interested in more high tech design? Do you want to see the more commercial side of design or do you want to see little ateliers of different artists? All of this is possible and all of this is in city. And in this video, I will give you a short tour of all the things that you can see and where they are. In total, there are nine areas in the city. And the first one on the map is Stripe T plus R, uh, where P Tyne Eek is situated, which is more furniture and interior design, the innovation powerhouse where Van Berlo, one of the biggest industrial design firms in the Netherlands is situated. And in the TQ building, the TU is hosting its exhibition this year. Then we have Stripe S, which is usually considered to be the main hub of the Dutch Design Week. And this is also the most commercial center where the Klokgebouw is the most well known. And uh, you also have the Ketelhuisplein, which has a lot of social design stuff going on this year. Um, but also a bit more cultural things like Mu and Natlab, um, which host a lot of cool stuff as well. Then in the central city, uh, you have TAC, which is the temporary art center, which I think is an exposition focused on uh, living right now. Um, then around the train station, you have the design perron, where several design studios have their atelier, which they open up, which is always really cool to see. Then also in the city center, we have downtown. And I think that these are a lot of small locations also uh, hosted in stores. So uh, if you just want a little taste of the Dutch Design Week, I think that this would be a really good place to go because you can also just stay in the city center. Then we have Sexy Say, which is one of my personal favorites. Uh, because this this area is just really cool. It's always super cozy. They have fireplaces going on and there are a lot of more uh, Artistic ateliers there are people who do stuff with ceramics uh, Printing presses uh, workshops where they build a lot of cool stuff with wood and metal and um, Yeah, I just really like the vibe over there. So if you're looking for more of a chilled vibe and more uh, craftsmanship, then I would go to sexy say then you have the Melkfabriek, the Campina area, where of course the Design Academy hosts its graduation show. And um, this is just a must see, uh, I think, because they do really amazing and inspiring work. Lots of conceptual stuff. So if you're looking for more concrete things that uh, you could integrate into your life immediately, Maybe not your cup of tea, but if you're looking to get inspired and to see things of what is possible, then I would definitely go visit the graduation show. And then there are two other locations, the Halleweg and Plan B. And to be honest, I'm not really familiar with both of those, um, but from the looks of it on the map, I think they are also more uh, ateliers, a bit more uh, interior-ish and um, well, at Plan B they have Kiki and Joost and they always make really beautiful stuff. So that will probably be cool as well. But those are also new locations for me. So I'm not entirely sure, but that's also a good thing for me to then go and discover. So if you're not so much going for a specific vibe, but you have a specific area of design that you're interested in, uh, they have made several design routes and these are routes that will fill an entire day program for you and they have selected a few uh, projects or expositions over all of the areas that you can visit. Um, so they have a digital route, an art and collectibles route, a bio design, craft and new materials, future living, talent, social design, architecture and public space route. And I think that if one of these topics interests you, this would be a really good place to start your Dutch Design Week experience. So if you want an even more tailored program, you can always visit the Dutch Design Week website because there you can either make a My Data Way profile and completely tailor your whole visit or find updates about all the cool stuff that is happening or that you can see and also find more information about nightlife and side programs that are happening. 